What's your breakfast? I have no idea. I don't know what this is. <laughs> so what's the plan today? Go back to bed for another couple hours. Love me. Come on, Bubba. You're a bad boy. Don't listen to your father. Well, we're on our second coffee and we're ready to speak now. And today is um, 5K time trial day. I have a goal of breaking my 5K PB sometime in October, early October. My 5K PB is 14.52 from 2013 so it's gonna be uh, an interesting challenge to see if after whatever seven years of ultra endurance training if you can go backwards and break your 5k PB and so I thought it'd be fun to kind of do a baseline test I really have done no speed work I've done literally two sessions um, haven't really done much run training like speed training this year at all in the start of the year i was i was prepping for oceanside 70.3 and then obviously that never happened and so i kind of just went to like aerobic base training mode for the next five months or six months and so uh this is going to be a true baseline test i would say you know not of like oh i've been sitting on the couch for six months baseline test but like uh no speed work baseline tests, just all aerobic running for the most part. And so we've got a couple of guys, Garrick Lowen and Matt Gervais coming out to uh, run with me and also do a do a time trial. My mom's actually gonna come too and see, see what her uh, 5K time is right now. And we're gonna do it on the track. And so then we'll use this uh, this data to inform our training and then also uh, it'll be kind of a fun comparison after eight weeks of concentrated uh, speed work how much faster I can run than baseline tests. I'm gonna try and target 16 flat go through halfway in eight minutes and then uh, hopefully come home and a little faster I don't know negative split usually difficult but that's what I'm gonna try to do. We'll see how realistic or unrealistic that is pretty quickly.
Uh, haven't run a, a 308K in six months. We're on five of them in a row today. Uh, oh God. Oh, well done. Oh, that's sick. Come on, Garrett, smash this lap. Come on. I think. You sandbagging some of it. Yeah. But that's why, that's why I went after it. Yeah. I was like, I'm stopping it because this could be my sub 16. It's true. It's true. If it's on Strava, that's what counts. <laughs> yeah. 1542. So better so, than what you expected or? I figured that was probably like the upper limit of what I could do. Like yeah, uh, 16, I figure I, I could run a 16 on command, but uh, to, uh, to run 308s was definitely at the limit of my ability. And I, I mean, it's funny how you remember how to run. I went through the first K in 301 and I was like, oh, this is pretty good. It's not bad. And then like at 2K, I was like nearly gonna vomit. So, I mean, it's good. I don't have too much to go. It's uh, 50 seconds to my PB, 50 seconds off the PB. So I've got eight weeks to try and break the, uh, to improve by 50 plus seconds. And so I think one of the ideas I had, and maybe you guys can um, tell me if you'd like it, is maybe we can like do a video a week or something about the tr preparation for the 5K. And if you want, you can participate and uh, see see if you too can break your 5k PB. So let me know if in the comments if you if that's something you'd be interested in doing trying to break our 5k PBs together and then maybe sometime in October we can all do a 5k time trial and see if we achieved our goal. But only if this hits 10,000 likes. 